Do a bouncing, some some kind of feel good thing. Sure, yeah, yeah. that would be good. Yeah, because we because we've yeah. been doing all these chakra things, so we've got kind of lots of um, information. Just, sure. Um, okay. Okay. Close your eyes and just get as relaxed as you can at this moment, and take those ever so wonderful deep breaths in and out. And the first thing we're going to do is recognize that within the body, we talk about the physical body, but it can be an energetic body within the body, at the base of the spine, think about a red vortex of energy, right at the base of the spine, red swirling combination of energies connected to the earth, connecting you to the earth as if there are roots coming out of the spine going down into the earth. All the earth colours, red, yes though, black and brown and grey. Think of a tree as that red energy really roots you down to the ground. Well, you might imagine that we would then go up the spine with the various colours and vortexes and chakras, but right now I want you to go to the very, very top of the head, very, very top of the head, where there is this bright, white, spiralling vortex, like a ball of energy, right at the top of the head, connecting you to the divine and then right in the middle right in the center of you in your heart is this green swirling emerald vortex of energy where the bright white light coming down from above through the top of your head comes down into the heart and where that red energy right from the molten core of the earth comes up and meets both of those energies meet in that heart area it may interest you to know and you may already know that your heart was the first thing physically to form from the meeting of the earth and celestial energies and it was from the heart chakra that the other parts of you formed all the swirling vortexes and all the meridians that connect one to another a kind of matrix of energies and as you focus now on the energetic core of you you go back down now, all the way down to that red root, the red root of you pulsating and swirling right at the bottom of the spine. And with that red earthy grounding energy, you come up from protection, for that's what it is. And sometimes we are more focused on protection and that's fine though so now we're coming up to the next chakra the sacral chakra and this is the swirling vortex of pleasure and from that pleasure no matter what the colors may be you coming up now into the solar plexus, right in the middle of the stomach area where everything gets digested, where sometimes you feel those butterflies, though not now. And from that solar plexus coming up into the heart, relaxing there for a moment, traveling now into the throat, the throat where you proclaim, you make your proclamations, you use the voice and choose not to use the voice as you've been just talking about the 
ability and choice of saying words and not expressing yes in words though in other ways to the throat chakra and now further up further now into that third eye the pituitary gland the pineal gland right into the center of the brain and then back again right to the crown to the top and so within you are these swirling vortexes of energies and your unconscious mind can balance harmonize energize give more energy to one area and less to another though certainly to have you balanced and recent events have created that balance let us now sustain it knowing now what is truly important what has always been important where the whole was that is now filled take a moment as you relax down to those deeper realms now listening to my voice as I count from seven to one by the time I reach the number one you will let your consciousness rest somewhere deep inside you somewhere in that cascading vortexes of concentric circles of you the energy that swirls around not just inside though outside of you now you will rest somewhere within somewhere being able to take energy from and feed energy to any part of you at any time though balanced as you are right now being able to sustain it throughout all activity certainly throughout the next seven days anchoring now knowing what is important and knowing that this is a situation energetically physically emotionally spiritually a condition which feels good and balanced and right that can now be sustained returned to which can nourish you in all the days to come as I can from seven to one you recognize the importance of the state you have already achieved seven going down now with each descending number it becomes easier than before to go deeper with each descending number you let go of all the stuff that is no longer important and focus on what is important to you so that's seven and six and five now just resonating with the energy of being alive five alive five alive being deeply relaxed yes though so very energized five five alive five and four twice as relaxed as you were at five on four and each trance can be deeper than before four four and three listening to me now three 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 nearly there now on two deeper relaxed letting go on two nearly there now on the next number relax completely at one one now one 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 and your consciousness traveling up and down the spine up and down the physical aspects of you settles in one place 
invigorating balancing, harmonizing all the colors of the rainbow. I want you to imagine now in your way, however vivid, however vague, what we've been looking at, what we all look at on this physical plane is a tapestry. Seeing the tapestry of life, all these elements of life, family, health, love, work, and aspects that never seem related. Things you watch on TV, something overheard at a supermarket, the experience of life like a tapestry full of different colours, seemingly unrelated events, people, places, emotions, cars, holidays, last year, next week, everything a rich tapestry. And what I'd like you to do now, in this relaxed state, is recognize that you can peep around the back of the tapestry. And as you do, as you look at the back of the tapestry, see all the interconnected threads, the colours, the yarn that connects one event to another. People, places, the intricate tapestry of your life now being more revealed to you, everything connected, more connections than you ever recognized consciously before, life being revealed to you, coincidences, events, people, times of the past, times of the future, and here you sit in this very special place, in this very special state. Time to savour this moment. There was a time not long ago where you were not aware of the threads of connection between you and others that may have been seeking connection with you and events not yet experienced though meeting physically those that were once separate and now very connected energetically in this very special moment, this collection of days, as you have experienced the fullness of life, you now experience gratitude, humility, love, the kindness of self and others, much more than this, the welcome, what a small word it seems, embraced within the tapestry of life, becoming more rich, there's more fulfillment, there's more colour, there's more connection, there's more interweaving, there is more life in this tapestry now with your awareness of the connections and you also recognize it is your choice to enrich those connections 
and as you find out more and more about them, you may choose to keep distant with some and closer with others. Such is the wonderfulness of connection. Here you sit and you find a way to anchor, to remember at a very deep level of being what is important to you, where you want your attention to be. And maybe, just maybe, it is there, right in the centre of you, the spark in the heart, in the heart, in the heart, where all of your physicality came from and now returns to. So the energy, of course, can move up and down, connected to the crown chakra right at the top of your head, to all the celestial stuff and the spiritual things and all of that, and also right the way down to the root chakra, out through the feet, right into the earth, into the physical, the concrete, being able to create here on the physical plane, it is all within you, within that tapestry. Maybe you choose a word, a colour, an idea, or even a physical action. Maybe it is putting your hands together in this very particular way that makes you realise now the connection the connections that are so important between you and the rest of the world. You and your own creation. You and your involvement within the tapestry. You and your importance. You are important. You are more important than you ever thought possible. And of course, it brings you joy. And that is the joy experienced in the heart now. Revel in it, savour it. Sense of belonging, comfort, ease. Relaxed happiness, relief all the good stuff, just bask here for a moment in that energy, vowing to remember to return to this wonderful state, this relaxed state of belonging, of being accepted and accepting others, of connections restored, renewed, invigorated. You are part of it all. You are important. More than you thought possible. Significant. And so very pleased with life. Pleased calm, focusing on what is important to you, savouring, basking, invigorating that energy, summoning it up whenever you wish, whenever the little things call for attention, giving you back that sense of importance, significance, and love. Make it bigger, brighter, bolder, happier, more loving, more calm, 
more wise. In a moment, you'll come back to full conscious attention, though knowing that you can return at any moment by a word, by holding your own hand, by a colour, or simply by bringing your attention inward. How am I feeling right now? Let me get back to the tapestry. These things that didn't seek seem connected, which now are. Let me get back to the connection between me and all things. The connection between one part of my body and another. The connection between this energy and that energy. The connection and balance of all things, for you are part of it all, and all of it is within you. In a moment, yes, returning now to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before, being able to return to this very wonderful state of balance and ease. On my count then, feeling good, feeling better than before. One rising up like a beautiful bubble from the surface of the sea. Right up, skyrocketing into the heavens. Two, feeling balanced and perfect, perfect and balanced, balanced in every way. Three, coming up further now, calmly, confident, completely relaxed. Four, these good feelings stay with you now and forever. Five, Open your eyes, stretch and smile. Feeling good? Absolutely. Yay! Yeah. Wonderful.